What's going on everybody? I am going to be filming an entire day of showing you guys basically what I'm eating right now on prep. Um, I said this on my last video, I was 12 weeks out um, and now I'm essentially nine. So I want to do this video on everything that I'm eating since I get asked a lot like, how have you dropped like 10 pounds in six weeks or whatever, which sounds really crazy, but um, I've honestly been busting my booty off. Um, I'm not gonna say it's been easy at all, but I have been really consistent with my diet and I do get asked a lot like what kind of diet I do, if I do macros, if I follow like a strict bodybuilder meal plan. I do have like a general like caloric goal in mind um, that I do. That way I could like track like when I need to cut down on calories and stuff like that. If I were to label it anything, which I don't really want to put a label on anything, I just eat healthy. Um, I fuel according to how I train. So if I train legs, for instance, I'm going to do more carbs because I know that on that day, I utilized a lot more energy, so I need a lot more intake so that I can uh, stay full while still cutting down body fat. And on a day that I don't train, like on Sundays, I take the day completely off. Um, I'm not going to do that many carbs because my, you know, I'm not doing that much, so my body doesn't need it. So I'm going to show you guys basically what I eat. I'm going to the holy places of all Whole Foods, and I'm going to show you guys what I buy there. I even though I don't buy everything there because it's really pricey. I know that you guys know that. Um, I do buy some like specific things at Whole Foods and then I buy some other things at Costco and then I cheap out on some other things and go to Winco. She knows about the Winco life yeah, because, <laughs> sorry, I always just like, without any freaking heads up, Thanks, what's I'm up? Video. My roomie like, right here. China. I know that you guys want to see a little roomie video, so we're going to have yes. to bring that to you guys very soon. But yeah, we are both prepping. So we're both kind of eating the same shit, to be honest with you, but different quantities because everybody's body is just different. Um, you know, she has some foods that like respond really well for her. Uh, for me, I've always been kind of like sensitive to carbs and I'm not trying to be one of those like carbophobic people. I'm really not. I've like increased my carbs a lot to how I used to, but I just know my body like feels better and runs so much better on like high fat. So I'm gonna show you like the fats that I use and stuff like that, which I buy at Whole Foods and my protein sources and everything like that. So stay tuned for that. So since I'm pretty picky with my protein sources, I like to get high quality food and believe it or not, I actually love tilapia. So I call in twice a week with my girl Courtney, we call in Whole Foods and we order tilapia cooked. That way our house doesn't smell like fish because I always find that disgusting. But I love the taste of tilapia. I know, I'm weird. Like tilapia over chicken any day. So we order it directly. You can call Whole Foods and they make it for you. So meal prep by Whole Foods. Yo, Chris! That's Just our boy Chris. Them, so. Yay! Thank you so much. This is the one that's all the same seasoning. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. That's you. The, Thank you, yeah, dear. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. You're on YouTube. You're on. <laughs> you know, like every time. You know us. You know us. Thank you cool. so much. You. We'll yeah. be Thank back you. on Sunday. Right. And that's how we do fresh fish prepared. So three pounds. It sounds like a lot. Like when you say three pounds, it's you feel really like long. it would last you like three years. But actually, yes. But actually, it lasts about four days because we come every Wednesday and every Saturday or Sunday. And good fats, I use this little guy because it's just really, really good omegas and I just absolutely love it. A few tablespoons a day, because like I said, I feel like I, my body does really well on fats, so that's one of my favorite oils. Another thing that I like to add into my salads are different pumpkin seeds. I like to get these super seed ones, um, and they have them in different flavors. Those are so good, but they have a little bit of sugar. So I typically get these curry ones and um, again, they're really good sources of fat and about 13 grams per serving and they taste really good in salads. And the last thing that I'm getting at Whole Foods is uh, tahini. I love it. It's basically 
ground organic sesame seeds. And it basically is kind of like peanut butter or almond butter. Except personally, I can control myself a lot better with tahini because it's a lot richer. If I have almond butter or peanut butter at my house, like it'll just magically okay. go. Oh, look, Courtney, don't look you agree? <laughs> look who walked into the picture. Uh, I was telling them that if we have almond butter or peanut butter no, at the house, it's like game over. it's done. Game over. So these bitches are on a diet, so we're gonna stick to the tahini right now. Oh, that guys, that sounds so good. All of these dressings are pretty ideal. Let's go look at this. Um, okay, let's do it. This is what we cook with. Coconut oil spray, um, pretty good. And honestly, I don't even factor that into my numbers at all. It has zero calories, just a spray on the pan. And it makes everything taste pretty tasty. And we always end up doing this. So we buy everything or we get everything that we need and then we're like, we should just stroll through every aisle of Whole Foods to see if there's anything new. And we end up spending like two hours here and a lot of money too. Here's a little glimpse at our Costco grocery haul. Just a little bit of the basics. A lot of veggies. We get them at Costco because they're super cheap. And ground bison, very lean source of red meat. It's like 90% lean, so it's better than the uh, ground beef, the regular one. Lemons, celery, Brussels sprouts, egg whites, some girly things, and cucumbers, and vitamin C chewables. These are freaking delicious. What's up, guys? Okay, new day. I totally filmed that video, did a little grocery haul, and forgot to conclude it with showing you guys what everything looks like in our fridge. This is the kind of like the little final result of all those little grocery hauls. Whole Foods, Costco, Winco is where we usually get our vegetables, but we try to put all of the prepped fish that I show you guys that we get at uh, Whole Foods into little containers so that we don't overeat it. A little look in our pantry. Um, this is kind of like all of our carby stuff, I guess you could say, slash baking stuff, which isn't really going on at the moment. Um, but we do have some amazing oat fits. If you guys haven't tried this, it's pretty amazing. It's only like 100 calories for these little packets, so I like to have those for breakfast. Or any of these quick oats or gluten-free oats. And another carb source that I really, really rely on is jasmine rice, as well as my sweet potatoes that I buy at Winco and Bake, which I will show you For guys. For all you guys, like I mentioned, um, I do have a, kind of like a set calorie goal in mind, which I follow, which is uh, to reach like about 1600 calories a day. Um, my macros, I'm gonna totally tell you guys, even though I kind of mentioned at the beginning, I don't really like to say that I track my macros because I'm not one of those people that like track every single macro. So no, I'm not a flexible dieter, but I will, however, kind of factor in like how much protein I need per day, obviously how many fats, how many carbs, um, but I won't go psychotic over like measuring my vegetables or my condiments and things like that. So my macros at the moment, eight weeks out are 140 protein, 100 carbs, and about 55 to 65 grams of fat. Um, I do personally do a lot better on high fat, and that's how I feel like I've been able to drop the weight, is lowering my carbs and, um, believe it or not, upping my fat. However, I do not recommend that you guys follow my exact numbers, because everybody's different. Some people do better on high carbs, Some people do better on high fat. I'm just one of those people that lose weight faster on high fat. Really strange. But it's still important to keep your calories up because if you don't eat enough, your body will go into like storage mode and it won't burn any calories because it's not being fed enough energy. So make sure you're getting enough calories. Dude, I'm filming this video inside my apartment right now as I turn the oven on and I'm literally sweating so much trying to cook some potatoes, yo. Um, it's always like, when, when you're on prep, you're always in the kitchen cooking, which is kind of annoying. It seems like you're always either at the grocery store or in the kitchen. But anyway, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, those are my macros. I did wanna share those with you guys because a lot of you um, asked me at, on my Snapchat questions and my IG questions, like what kind of diet I do. So 
there you have it I kind of just follow um, my own style I guess you could say and I work off of training depending what I train and I'm mostly very mindful of like what kind of foods I eat because I honestly like even on the other some days that I just don't track and I just like kind of go intuitively and I think it's all about like eating good food that you know is like quality not processed you're gonna lose weight that way um, I personally really think that this all should become like a lifestyle and it shouldn't be so obsessive to be able to sometimes go out and eat and be like all right I can kind of eyeball this portion of chicken and this is gonna be enough for what my body needs right now without like bringing my scale everywhere but of course there are exceptions and um, you guys have seen like on my snapchat and stuff like that like I will bring my scale sometimes when it's needed but I don't think it's important to be that obsessive so anyway I hope that that helps right <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm like, I don't know if I'm like contradicting myself. I know, right? I don't know if I'm contradicting myself. But anyway, um, that is what I've been doing. That's how I've lost like 10 pounds so far. I still have like 15 more to go. It sounds crazy. I already feel like I've gotten a lot leaner. But to be at that like stage weight, you got to be like super, super little, which is really crazy. But it's just like, it's what, what I like to do. So Anyway, um, I'll keep taking you guys along my journey. Um, I am working with a new coach, and he's the one that kind of adjusts my macros and stuff like that, but he's also like the one that has kind of like taught me to not be so obsessed with like refeeds and cheat meals, and so I have a cheat meal once at least every week, and I kind of, I don't measure it or anything. I just make it whatever, so. Um, anyway, that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys got some informative stuff for um, what you can eat when you're trying to like lose body fat. Um, and remember to always work around like what works for you. You got to experiment a lot and find whatever it is that works for you. So I will check in with you guys soon. Um, comment below if you guys have any ideas on what I should do my next video about. Thank you loves. Bye.